Thank you very much, uh, members of the media, the officials of uh, the EFF. I stand before you to accept the decision of the deputy president of the EFF, who has voluntarily resigned his positions and did not renew his membership. When he sent me a letter yesterday, I felt the same pain when I received the news of the passing away of my mother. Because Floyd, to me, is not just a comrade. He's a brother. And he will remain a brother even when he pursues his political career differently. We formed this organization together. And I've told him that resigning from the EFF is equal to resigning from himself, because this is his organization. The constitution of the EFF does not allow people to resign and join other political parties and come back to the party. But I've made this offer to Floyd, that the day you decide to come back, you are more than welcome, because you are not a member. You are a founder of this political party. So you are not our enemy, will never be your enemies, will continue to engage on different political and personal issues. Um, Floyd is not the only one. Uh, Jimmy Mani has also resigned uh, to go and join MK. Uh, and uh, there will be many others who are going to leave the EFF because they've got their loyalty and support to the deputy president. So uh, fighters on the ground should be prepared for more people to follow. And uh, this should not serve as a point of collapse for the EFF. This is a testing moment. The organization that has lived beyond 10 years has never been through this testing moment. The EFF will have to pass this test or it will have to die. And we, as members and leaders of the EFF, will defend its life, will make sure it lives forever for generations to come. It is the responsibility of the provincial leaders, the regional leaders, and the branch leaders to consolidate the ground and strengthen the branches of the EFF. This is not the end. It's the beginning of a journey because we have turned 10 years, and this is a new chapter for the EFF. So you can be rest assured that we are not going to be howling insult at each other. We are not going to be speaking bad about each other. Individuals make individual political decisions. And they will stand by those decisions. We all write our own individual history. And the deputy president has decided to write his own history. And individuals will leave the organization, but the organization must still stand, because the organization must live beyond individuals. If it is an organization, it can rely on the existence of individuals, including me as a person. If it happens one day I die, the EFF will have to live beyond me. Because the EFF has got its own founding manifesto, its own uh, election manifesto. The EFF is well represented in parliament and will continue to execute uh, its responsibilities. We wish DP all of success. We know that wherever it's going, it's going to be of value. We have lost a valuable member as the EFF, but the show continues.